Willie, uh, happy to have you here at Austin. Uh, there seems to be a big increase in popularity in country western music. Uh, can you explain that? Well, it's uh, it's really not hard to explain. I think everyone is just finally catching up to country music. It's been around a long time, and uh, the young people have discovered it. And uh, when all that enthusiasm gets behind anything, it's got to go. Austin City Limits, Willie Nelson. I've been associated with Austin City Limits since the beginning. I did the first show. It's about music. It's not a little bit of music. Not four minutes of music and then talking. It's just music. I don't really get nervous about shows, but for some reason this one I couldn't sleep last night. I was definitely terrified when I heard I was going to play Austin City Limits. That show has a soul about it that comes through when you watch it. When you're playing Austin City Limits, you're playing more of a real show. There's so much history and tradition and heroic influence. It's pretty overwhelming. You have to kind of stand up there and go, do these songs live up? Welcome to Austin City Limits. How are you feeling tonight? We celebrated our 40th anniversary last year. We just keep on going. Austin City Limits has stood the test of time because somebody is curating this music. Every single year we never knew if we were going to be funded. It's tough out there in public television land. Here's why we're establishing a uh, Hall of Fame. We have 40 years of amazing performers. We're celebrating our entire history. Smells like Willie in here. <laughs> when will the show's producers change so that it can last another 40 years? It's oil wells and barbecue and Austin Sea Limit. I'm really glad to see it still doing well and getting better all the time. I've watched it my whole life. I don't care about being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame anymore. I got invited to play Austin City Limits. It's the last smart music show on American television. Mm -hmm.